Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back. Once again, another reaction with the ghost. And our little dragon is running around somewhere. She's confused. So, we are here with House of the Dragon. Yes, I spoke about you. Yes, hello. Dragon, our dragon is here. Our dragon is here. She's still off camera, but still. So, we're here with House of the Dragon, episode 6. And the title is The Princess and the Queen. I like that title. Now, we found out that there's a time jump. A yes. major one in this episode. A decade? Something like that. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what happens because we've had the first episode, then we've had like a, a few months, then a year, a or two years, years, and then it felt like episode four wasn't really, kind of, like maybe a little bit of a time jump. There like, wasn't a huge time jump? Not really. Episode five, kind of the same thing. Yeah. Where uh, there was some time, I guess, passed, but how much they really didn't say. I guess it really didn't matter. But now it does. I, I kind of wish that they're... I mean, I understand, like, half of it, they're younger, half of it, they're older. Yeah. But I kind of wish we got to see the aftermath of when they were young from the last episode, because it was her wedding. Or, yeah, it, it wasn't supposed to be her wedding that early. But they rushed it. But, things da happened. <laughs> Damon showed up. A guy died, who was the uh, friend or helper or protector of uh the future prince yeah the, fir the yeah the fu well the future king at some point whenever well, renair becomes but he queen prince yeah like it's really jarring i mean and he really pushed uh what was it christian Kristen? is that his sir Kristen? sir Kristen. he he was like going over to like hey you know we gotta be a protector and stuff and he went and he went crazy and i thought he went after damon because they kind of set that up because damon could grab renair's face like oh shit like this is getting I real i don't know if there was a kiss because the king stood up trying to see. Yeah. He and couldn't see the because crowd. of the crowd. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Uh, we, we're loving the show. We really are. Um, I wish I wish it just came all out at once so we can kind of binge it, but at the same time, I think the, the week by week just makes it, like, get us more excited. I almost like, I like to binge shows, but at the same time, like, you see a full season in, like, two, three days, there depending on how long it is, and then it's like, well... What do I do now? Like, I, I want to see more. Now you have to wait even longer. So I kind of like that it's, like, week by week. Mm -hmm. So we're not having to... We don't we don't have the opportunity to just binge it. Because we don't do anything on our weekends. So if there's a new show, we just sit down and watch it all. The whole thing. <laughs> and that's the thing, because you have to wait even longer. If yeah. you just kind of wait. But yeah. it's just how things are. You ready to get into the episode and see what they do? I'm ready. Oh, boy. And we're, gonna, we're probably going to meet a lot of new characters, because we're doing a huge time jump. So let's get ready for this. <sighs> all right, let's. guys. Gotta be childbirth. Is that Rhaenyra? I th think so. I don't know. It didn't seem like she wanted kids when she was younger. No, she was definitely against it. The queen has requested that the child be brought to her immediately. Uh, why? What? Was it terribly painful? Yes. You just birthed a child. Unless you wish to carry me down those fucking stairs. So the same, Rhaenyra. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pretty much. Princess. Is that Sir, Sir Kristen? So he's still there, okay. What happy news this morning. Indeed, you're He's great. still alive. Thanks. He's lost an arm. Oh. He, he does not something. look well. <laughs> no, he does not. How is he still alive? I thought he died. Uh, you know you bad name? No. That's a bad name. No. <laughs> The, the blood splatter. My God. Oh, they have brown hair. Okay. That's his actual kid. All of them are, I think. It's a little dragon. Yeah. Sad. I don't know. I hate know. not knowing who all these people are now. Stand that dragon's home. sizing you up. Um, oh, no. Food. He has a goat. Yeah, it's a goat. A little goat. Wow. Little goat. Dracarys, Vermas. Okay, burn it up. Oh. Oh. Well, time to eat. We have a surprise for this little barbecue. Oh, they put wings the on a pig. The pink dress. I personally don't like the dark, so I would never go down there. <sighs> yeah, the fire's not really doing much. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like it's still pitch black down there. God, that's nasty. <laughs> it is beyond your understanding to have one child like that as an estate. To have 
three to let the kids. Are you trying to say, even though unremarkable it, could it doesn't happen. matter, the hair, yeah. like they could. She knows the truth. How do you know? He's trying to, you know. What the hell? Are we serious? <laughs> the pig. That's what she wants to talk about right now? You are the challenge. You are the challenge, Egon. Simply by living and breathing. Oh, His name is Dragon. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Her dragon looks cool. That's a giant dragon, too. It is. Massive. You saw the difference there. Yeah. Egon the Conqueror. Marry one of our daughters, Your Excellence. You might have said so. Oh, the he's got kids. <laughs> there's two. There's kids oh. sitting at the table. Selfless, she was Valerian, wasn't she? Allies, yes. But her mother was was, that was queen hit. that was the queen. Yeah. wasn't. So he went from what no kids to having three. Yeah. Her mom is his sister. We are more than this. So. At my end, I want to die a dragon rider's death. Damn. How about you listen to her? Let's see if you can touch me. Uh -oh. You and your brother. Work together. Wow. <laughs> no, be a fair match. I know you've never seen true battle style, but when steel is drawn, a fair match isn't something anyone should expect. in the princeling's training is quite unusual commander he knows he knows would only have that kind of devotion or a son oh shit oh in the face let's go fight it out you know you don't have much to say sir kristen because yeah you slept with her first mm -hmm. your intimacy with the princess Rhaenyra is an offense to between exile and death oh jesus I mean, he doesn't want to be with her. It's a lie. It's no. So he wouldn't have given her children. They waylay ships and cargo. He never would have. No, he never would have. I am owed. So. You are owed nothing. For ten years, you are commanded to remain in King's Landing and at my side. Oh! I wonder if he regrets not really taking Renera. At least her kid. They would have known whose father yeah. her kids were. They would know. It'd be white hair. Resemblance to the command of the city walls. <laughs> they all fucking know. Oh my god. He longed for his other niece. <laughs> That's weird to say. So, Tyler. <laughs> the tension in here is we should ridiculous. Between the two. Yeah. We must consider the cost to our subjects. This is this. The cost of war is greater. Okay, stay standing. Sit <laughs> down, clown. I have. My son, Jocerus, will inherit the Iron Throne after me. I propose we betroth him to your daughter, Helena. Oh! She hates it. Her child and her child are both on the throne. Like, if mm -hmm. it's a win win. Another clutch of He'll accept it, though. Joined hands and be stronger for it. But I am cold in my grave. Alice. We can make that happen. Oh, we can, yeah, we can make Alice, that happen. Uh, I have come to resign my position as hand of the king. Oh. Name it if it casts such a gloom. I cannot. Oh, you just say it. God. It's not his to say. That's true. Husband. I said no. She fucking walked out. <laughs> Damn. Get your own blanket. I not give unbiased counsel to the king. No. It is now as I must rue the absence of my own father. But you hold me not. Ah. No. But I cannot say for a surety whether it lives. I do not say my will. No. Remember, she said that she doesn't want to die. Oh. She wants to die by writing. Okay. They, you don't think they know? Solomon Strong, my father. 
Um. Technically, yes, you are a Targaryen. You're also a bastard. Y yeah. <laughs> We're finished here. We're leaving. Where are they going? What of your offer? Damon's wife just killed herself, so. Oh. The oh. High Tower? No, no, those are the guys. Oh, in the print, in the jail. Yeah. They succeeded, I think. Damn. I did not wish for this. So she didn't want that. Okay. I feel certain. No, she owes him. Yeah, even though she didn't ask for it. That happened? Did a lot. My god. Ten year time jump. Shit just went down every couple minutes. Like, god. And they did not skirt around the fact that none of Renera's kids are her husband's. Because they would have had white hair. And they made a point to show multiple families, including theirs, because we saw grown-up versions of Viserys and Allison's kids, mm -hmm. all white hair, all three. Why do they all have white hair, though? I think because... Because Allison has brown hair. I think he has a dominant gene. I don't, be, know. I don't know. That, that's a good question. There's still a possibility of her children having brown hair. Yeah, because Targaryens mostly sleep with each other to keep the bloodline going. So I don't know. But then, wait a minute. Is it all of her kids? Or was some of the kids um, from the previous marriage? I think so. What do you mean? Like from the first mother. Like besides Renera, wasn't there another kid? No, am I wrong? Renera was the only one. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. I was like, what was I thinking? That Anyways. was his only child. And then Allison came along, and she had three, two boys and a girl. Yeah. Okay. And now Renera has three boys, one just born. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know why I randomly just had a brain fart there, because there's so many people to keep up with, because now we also have Damon with kids, and they were going to have another kid, and no. She couldn't birth it. Dracarys. She kept like crying it out, and the... The oldest and biggest dragon. That thing looked old as hell. You blinked. Like, yeah. It's old. And he didn't want to. No, he didn't. He hesitated. Well, they showed, too, like, uh, in the dragon pit, where that small dragon, um, to one of Renera's kids, like, trying to, like, halt it. And yeah. Dracarys. And then we get to see this grown-up dragon, who clearly is obeying, but does not want to do what she's asking it. Yep. The, the because it's her. And the flying sequence was awesome. The flying sequence when they yeah, were flying. Yeah, that was really cool. That was really Just to cool. see the difference between hers and Damon's dragons. Like the species. Because his like is like very skinny. And hers is like old yeah. and giant. I think there's a Rhaegar. I think it's the name of it. But anyways. It was, it was cool. It was really cool. Uh, but there's a lot, of, a lot of things to kind of keep up with. Because when you think about it, it's like Damon never wanted kids. Now he has kids. He married the other niece who was going to be married to Viserys when she was 12... And he was smart enough to go, no, yep. I'm going to listen to Otto Hightower over here and say, I'm going to marry your daughter instead. Um, and she's a lot <sighs> like Hightower right now. Yeah. I liked mm -hmm. her mm -hmm. when they were younger. And then the transition. And I feel like up until the wedding, I feel like she was trying her best with Renera. Like... It's an awkward situation. You guys are like best friends, and then you marry her father. And then you're giving. So I understand to... there's gonna be some some awkwardness there. You you have her siblings, which right. makes it a little more awkward. But she was trying with Renera. Gotta have brother, half sister. And then the whole thing with Renera potentially sleeping with Damon. It just took. And took then a, Sir Kristen took her over the edge. And yeah. she brought this up. We wish we would have seen what exactly was said for him because he was going to kill himself in episode he was 5 about to, he was about to stab himself I think she kept him alive to or she stopped him from killing himself because he was going to be her, uh, her eyes and ears kind of like a spy Maybe. I think because we have the whole courtyard sequence because we actually see the father of her actual kids and he's not making it too obvious but kind of because we have dad shoot the other boys out, and then he's holding the baby. It's like, eh, look, it's the actual father and mother yeah. spending a little time together. And, 
Man. But you knew that her husband is not going to give her kids. No. He doesn't want to bed a woman. Nope. And he's found a new man. We well, sure did. Brought him with him when they went to go to Dragonstone. Yeah. Go to Dragonstone. So. The, that was never going to If gonna only work. they knew about her husband. Yeah, that's like, everybody kind of knows her deep dark secrets. They don't know his. She he does he won't bet a woman. Even Damon knew. Yeah. Damon's like okay. Oh, yeah, does he does this one actually resemble the Targaryen bloodline to something effect like that? No. It resembles uh, he was a what, what he was a, Kingsguard or something. Yeah. He was the son of the Hand of the King, and his brother killed him, burned him, and. It, and I get your point. I was like, she definitely has went down th- the deep end. Yeah. And I understand, but at the same time, it's like, you have t- you have turned so far from who you were, but I think it's just all the choices, marrying the king, her best friend's father, then your kids are her step, like, not step, half-brother and a half-sister situation, and your kids are not heir to the throne... Yeah. Renera is, and then Renera, during oh god that whole uh, meeting, so tense. You gotta cut the hair in the room with a knife. Like it was... after everything that happened in the episode, now they're having a sit down, and so she stands up and and she's standing up across like sit down. And you can see she said sit down, clown. <laughs> you called her a clown, but she offered a her, marriage proposal. Yeah, her oldest, I believe. To her only daughter. To her only daughter. And they ruled the together. youngest. They rule together. And then also... Which it, makes sense. Like, mm-hmm. you have one... I mean, they're cousins, but Wait, w- it doesn't matter. I think she offered a... Uh, she offered the younger son? It would make sense if she offered the oldest son. Okay. I thought for a second she offered the young... No, I think you're right. But offered the egg, too. Yeah. Since they don't, like... Well, at least we know for a fact her younger son, uh, Aemon, because Aegon, he has his own dragon. But Aemon, they brought him a pig. And he went down into the... wings on it. Yeah, he went down into the dragon pit and got scared shitless like a dumbass. And while this all going on, you have the daughter over here being a really creep, like holding a damn Mila's centipede, whatever the fuck that thing was. Ugh. Ugh. She's obsessed. Like it's like I don't think you can see. Like, She's got what? a whole box of like what are you insects. doing? Insects. It made me uncomfortable. And her her mom clearly doesn't like. Durr. She's like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, and and then we think that she's kind of like Renera. She makes me think of Renera a little bit, like when she's she was younger, against ever against what is tradition or like yeah. what you're expected to do. And Renera completely switched too because she, now he, she's having kids and she made a point. She didn't want them. She said in front of Allison like episodes ago that uh. Yeah, I don't want to be someone who's locked up in a castle just giving birth to kids for heirs. Like, which is what it's what you're Allison doing. was doing. <laughs> it's what you're, it, and now that's what you're kind of doing too. See, but it makes sense. Like, I like Renera's proposal of having the two come together because you'd have one of Renera's kids and you'd have one of Alice's kids, which you would think would make Allison happy. And I think it would have been accepted, except everything that she knows about Renera and what's really happening because i mean he showed his he showed him himself when he attacks her Kristen in the in the courtyard yeah. when the different kids were dueling and i'm thinking they're going to actually they're going to duel right no they started punching he just beat the crap out of them and it's cuz he mentioned you know you're really protective like a like a son like yeah but oh. sir Kristen was favoring Alice's kids yes whereas Renera's he was like oh well yeah cuz he was pitting Two very different sizes and ages in terms of their height. That boy came back swinging on 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 Aegon. Yep, scare the crap out of me. Like, oh wait a minute, and uh, let's talk about that weird, awkward uh, moment where he's standing in the window. I don't. And she doesn't even address it when she when her when Al she just walks in, sees her son doing this, and she goes. Anyways, moving on. Did you not just see what he was doing? You caught him doing that, and she's like. Never mind. I have I have more important things. And then she goes on the fact that you're not the heir, and you're a threat to her power when it, she ascends. Yep. And I'm like, are you trying to turn Aegon against Renera right now? Yeah, that's exactly what she's doing because he wants. Because I think it's been mentioned that there can be a battle for the throne. So if he becomes powerful enough, he can battle Renera. 
like because like because literally he can say all he wants Viserys who he wants to, to, to send him but once he's dead who's gonna stop whoever to do something yep <sighs> and so okay I'm guessing with Rhaenyra leaving and going to Dragonstone with her family well not everybody because now the father of her children is I'm assuming dead he's dead yeah um does that mean that she forfeited her uh, as her heir? Like she's no longer heir now, or is she still? An I heir? think she's still heir. But she's just leaving. It's not, it's not going to look good because if Viserys dies and she comes back and becomes queen, which we know, based on the timeline, there's never been a queen because Daenerys wanted to be the first. Like we know that we know Rhaeny- like Rhaenyra does not become queen, but does really going back after now leaving and kind of really making it more obvious because you left after all the rumors and accusations coming back to take over is not it's not going to help i mean i don't know it's a messy situation this is messy very messy and i don't blame i I don't blame renera because she was forced into this but she tried to find a compromise but unfortunately none of her kids look like targaryens and then the oldest son's even questioning is that my dad who's leaving Asked who's a bastard. You a bastard? Well, you're a Targaryen. That's what matters. Yeah, you're a Targaryen, and you're still a bastard. Yep. Because you technically have your mom's genes and all that. Um, and then you made a good point. Well, she just left. The dad's about to die. That's me. Damon's wife just died. So, possibly. Because I bet he probably regrets not, not taking Rhaenyra. Yeah. He, he wanted Rhaenyra. Yeah. And, and she wanted him. He went she, for the other knee. She told him to make him, yeah. make her his wife. Remember that big fight uh, happened in episode five? She's like telling him in, I think it's High Valerian is the is the, the language. She's like, take me now. Take me to Dragon Cell. All of a like, she, she wants it. Do it. Mm-hmm. And he didn't do it. He probably thought it was too much of a risk. I mean, literally, she is the heir. And he takes her. I mean, that's kind of... Also, because she's about to get married to... That's a lot. It's a lot. So now, I don't know where we go from here. Because she's now Dragonstone with the family. Dad's dead. Husband brought his man. I, I don't know if she vacated the heir to the throne. I have no idea if she vacated that. Um, now, Allison owns... Uh, little finger origin over here owes him something even though she didn't want him to get killed yeah but he's like well you know that place that got killed i mean it's been cursed it's like okay that's the route and like now we know why he cut their tongues out because they could never speak about what they're doing yep because he sent them to kill them and i'm assuming he's going to do more shit with those people oh, yeah. you get you get to live you don't get to you don't you don't have to be hanged but now you do my bidding yep my <sighs> servants pretty much I'm assuming they probably killed the dad, too. He was the hand. I think they did. I don't think he was going to be able to get out. His oh. door was shut. Oh, my God. His door was locked, and he couldn't touch the door now because it was hot. You know what this means? Prediction. Otto's going to come back his hand. You think Hightower will? I think he might come back. The hand, it's now been vacated. And Allison made a point... That my father, he would, he would work, he would like, he would be in my favor. And she made a point that this deal that Renera made before, of course, she left and everything, over my cold body, essentially, not happening. We're not marrying our the two kids together. Not happening. Don't care. Yep. My little dragon is uh, starting Sleeping. to wake up over here. But yeah, this is a very intense episode. More drama. You know, and I and I feel like it's the beauty of the show because the show could have a lot of action and it has some had some action that big fight scene episode three was great against the crab the feeder or whatever yeah i like that but these episodes are just really the political side of shit the drama i'm not mad about though my god it's good get to see some drag we got to see the oldest largest dragon we got to see this little baby dragon yeah it's been a a good time a pig with uh wings on it Pigs can fly, apparently. We have our own little dragon over here. But yeah, it's been pretty intense. So now, we only have four more episodes, I think, to go. 
and the show, and then season one's done. Not the show. Well, we have season two. I bet season two is probably gonna have another. I bet, I bet we'll be introduced to a bunch more characters in season oh, two. I'm guessing. I, I'm guessing more time's gonna pass. I don't know. Yeah. So, uh, any final thoughts? I, I mean, it's... I know it's a, a, little, a little couple episodes away, but very end. Mm-hmm. The king dies. You think Viserys dies at the end of season one? Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. And then season two can focus on who's taking the battles for the throne. The, house, the, the Dance of the Dragons, essentially, is what they call it. The, uh, yeah, I feel like the Targaryen War is going to start up soon, because literally with Rhaenyra leaving. Scratch yourself. <laughs> Shake yourself. Dracarys. She's awake. Dracarys. You're bad at this. Oh, she's doing, like, just like with that other dragon. She's like, I don't want to do Dracarys, Dad. Anyways, we're going to go now. got to get to editing this damn thing. So, yeah, good stuff. And uh, we will see you guys next Sunday with episode 7. Yay. Peace. Out.